close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out, and then coming in again, going out again. You want your attention to be as persistent as the breath. The breath keeps doing its breath thing, but the mind tends to jump around. It sticks with this for a little bit, then finds something else. Jumps over there. This is why we don't, we don't see anything clearly, is because we don't stay in one place. It's like walking in and out of a room where it, there's a show on the TV. You walk in for a few minutes, walk out, and ten minutes later you walk in again and see a little bit more, and you have no idea what happened in the meantime. And it's the same with our own minds. We can't see what the minds are doing, all the different minds that we have. And so we don't see what the results are. We can't make the connection between the causes and the results. This is why we end up doing a lot of things that lead to our own suffering. This is one of the big ironies in life. Is we all want happiness in life, and yet we do things that lead to suffering. Why is that? Because we're not paying attention. We're distracted. So try to bring your attention right here. Keep it right here. Because when you're with the breath, you're in the present moment for sure, and you're at the part, point where the mind and the body meet. Your sensation of the body comes through the breathing, and it's through the breathing that you're able to move the body. So you're right here at the checkpoint. See what's coming in, going out of the mind, and you're in a much better position to decide which impulses coming out of the mind are worth acting on, and which ones are not. Because if you don't take care of this, who's going to take care of it for you? Each of us born into this world has to be responsible for our, our own actions. We can't be responsible for anybody else's. We have children, we try to keep some control over them, teach them what's right and what's wrong, but they're going to be making their own decisions. That's even with our own children, to say nothing of other people in the world. So make sure at the very least that your choices are the correct ones, the ones that lead to true happiness, the ones that don't pull you away off in other directions. By developing a foundation right here, this is how you get started, and this is how you stay on the path. Otherwise it's easy to forget, but if you're mindful to be right here, right here, right here, regardless of what happens, even when you're thinking about something else, you can still be aware right here. That helps keep you grounded, and when you're grounded, you're much more likely to do and say and think the right thing, because you're coming from a position of strength.